Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the description of this video for the full playlist. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. This is video number 17. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I highly recommend it. Today we're going to be looking at rotating and flipping things. So let's say I go into thing mode by hitting T here and I can start adding in some things. Let's adjust my grid here. So I have a couple of things here. I can hit back tick to unselect them all and then I can highlight them. And you can see the shotgun's facing that way and everything else is facing that way. These type of items, it does not matter. Uh, but if I was to add in a monster, uh, I can say this. And now I have one monster facing this way and the rest facing that way. And I may not want that. Uh, maybe I want them all facing away because I'm going to teleport into this room right here. Maybe I don't want them to see me right away. So with them all selected, I can click here or here and I can move them all around. But let's say I wanted, let's go ahead and grab this sector, move this sector here. I'm now going to, actually let's move it there so the texture lines up and I'll move this up here and I'll go back to things. So I have all these bad guys here, these monsters looking at me. Let's say I want them on the other side as well. Obviously I can control C and control V and paste them there. And then I can click down arrow so that they are looking. So now they're all looking, but I have, you know, multiple ones in the front row here. You know, uh, was it six in the front row, two, four in the back and it's reversed here. I don't necessarily want that. So what I can do is I can go up to um, edit and we have options to rotate. Uh, and you can see that's F4, so I can just hit F4. Uh, but there's also uh, the F1 menu. So let's look at both of those. So I'll hit F4 here, and now I can rotate. I can choose how it's rotating, center, left, right. I usually just do it on the center, clockwise, anti-clockwise, or also known as counterclockwise. And I can rotate them 180 degrees. Rotate. And now they're rotated and I can face them this way. And now I have the larger front row, larger back row. I can also, again, hit F4 and I can rotate them 90 degrees clockwise. Now they're all facing that way and I can move them down if I want, this way if I want, that way if I want. Let's undo that. Let's say I wanted to rotate them the other way. Well, F4, I can type in 90 here, click this drop down, go to anti-clockwise anti and click rotate. Let's undo that, Control Z to undo, just like most programs. Uh, but I never click that anti-clockwise. What I usually just do is say negative 90 and click rotate. It does the same thing. So you can choose counterclockwise, anti-clockwise or clockwise, or you can just do negative numbers if you want to go counterclockwise. So another thing uh, we can do here is if I hit F1, you can see that you can uh, spin things. I can rotate 180 degrees here. Uh, which is the way they're facing. And if I can F1, I can also uh, mirror things horizontally or vertically. So I can, uh, let's see, that looks the same. <laughs> let's do it this way, there. So that's another way that I can uh, flip them is by choosing F1 and choosing uh, either, you're not seeing anything. Let me, let me go ahead and move one of these guys over here so you can see this a little bit better. Now I'll select them. F1, if I mirror them, they're gonna flip uh, horizontally, left and right there, or vertically, I can flip them that way. Uh, so depending on how you want to flip them, those are some of your options. But of course, the same apply to our sectors. So again, I have this sector, again, it's, it's very basic in this example, but let's say I really like this sector. I put doors here, I put other things in here, items, maybe shelves, and now I want to uh, copy that. I can paste it over here. Now I can hit uh, F4, and I can type in 180 degrees clockwise to rotate that, or I can hit F1 and choose uh, to flip it, to mirror it this way. Either one works. And then I can come over here, and just like in our previous videos, I can go uh, like so. And the best way to do this is to just add in our vertices here, and then hit F9, merge those, continue, uh, remove overlapping, continue, continue, hit F9 again, remove that, continue. And obviously you watched our, the previous video on fixing things, so I just had to adjust some things, but that quick I was able to copy that. And again, it, basic little room like this probably would be easier to put the vertices, but if you had a big complex room that you wanted to add to that side, you could do that. And now I have that room mirrored over here. Perfect. Okay, our game is coming along. 
So uh, yeah, that's flipping things uh, and rotating things. I'm trying to think of when else you might want to use this, but um, mainly it would be f you know flipping sections. I'm sure you can flip vertices and stuff, but most of the time if you're flipping, you're probably better off uh, flipping um, the, ver the sector rather than the vertices or lines, in my opinion. Let's talk about something, an error I should have talked about in this previous video, but since we just did this, let's say I, I had this issue. It took me a while to figure out what was going on. Let's say I add in some imps in this room. And I take this sector and I want to copy it. And it copies everything in the sector, so I put that there and then I drag this sector out here and I rotate it, so I'll hit F1. I'll just mirror it like this and I can take it and put it up here. And let me go to things real quick. Wait, there's only two imps there. And there's three there. Why did that, why did, how did they get there? And the thing is, when I paste it, the sectors were overlapped and the things in them kind of got thrown all over the place. So anytime you're copying and pasting a sector like that, that's going to be outside another sector. When you paste it, make sure you paste it out here where it's not going to be touching another sector because that can really mess you up. Now, now I would have to move all those things. And that kept happening to me and I couldn't figure out why at first. And it's really obvious once you realize it. Um, oops, I meant to... Oh, I have things selected. I want to select sectors. There we go. I can put that there. Again, the uh, best way to do this would be add a vertice there, vertice there, sectors. And I'll just go through, merge those, remove that. F9 again, remove that. F9, everything's good. So now I come over here and I have that sector with those imps in there and the same sector over here with the imps in there. So that's something to think about when you're copying and pasting and rotating. If you rotate a sector in the overlap, uh, you may accidentally throw things from one sector to another. So make sure they're out, out of the way when you're rotating them or pasting them and then move them into position without dropping them anywhere on another sector. So I do thank you for watching. Again, uh, check out filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.